Good morning. So it is Tuesday and um I finished all of these that I had to embroider. You might remember this logo from previous videos. They always ask me for hoodies, aprons, koozies around the same time of the year because um, of the cook-offs that happen here in Houston and the Houston Rodeo and all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, they asked me for more hoodies. I finished them. This is the last one that I had. Um, I My orders did pick up back, did pick back up on Etsy. I did not, um, I told you guys that I had turned off the ads and I turned them back on, but I'm only doing $3. I'm only doing $3. I'm not, I was paying, I think like $15 and I, I, I brought it down to, to $3 and they're picking back up either way. Um, I kind of feel like I should have never put it at 15, even though I was getting a lot of orders, but, um, I'm, the orders are coming steady right now with $3. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. And if anything, I might lower it a, a little bit more. Um, I know some people said they don't pay for ads at all and they get, um, steady orders. I don't know. Like for me, like I've always paid for them. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I am going to work on some of those orders today. Hey guys. Um, so I am working. I have to do my own little fabric well it's regular fabric and then i did htv on top of it because i needed a straight fabric and i didn't have any more so i did the heat and bond light in the back and then i just did the little lines with the cameo um and then over here i have another shirt that i'm working on and then i have to put some hoodies on um the this one right here that's set up for hoodies shirts shirts all right, so I got this one going. Look, I think it looks good, the fabric, you can't really tell. And then this one, I gotta do a farm shirt, tutu. Um, and then I have to, I think I said it, I have to do um, hoodies on this one. And then, I don't even know if I have fabric for that farm. Oh my god, I'm done. And my power keeps going out. Almost done with the shirt. So many times I've wanted to take this one out of my Etsy shop, but it sells so much with the tutu that I have it with. I need to just clear that tutu with a different shirt. Because I think it's the tutu that they like you guys so this is the orders that i have i have 17 open orders um it's picking back up i was at four orders and within what like a few days this picked back up like it's crazy how etsy works um there's days like when you open you my my shop was closed which I think Etsy has cut on that if you take off all your ads, your shop is closed because when you turn everything back on, the orders do come back, but they come back so slow. And it's like if they punish you for closing your shop. So for, I want to say for like about two weeks, I had like zero orders and the, I had four for the month of December and it sucked for all december like i had four and then new year comes around and boom like within a few days i have 17 orders they are all outfits as you can see this one is sold out and it sells so well the problem is that i want to change the material that i use for this outfit because it's so expensive look how much i charge for it yes that's a lot but let me just show you this outfit it's so expensive to make 
this lace is expensive this burlap is expensive and that ribbon right there is expensive so it's really expensive for me to make this outfit um so i have to charge what i have to charge oh my god i hit 2000 sales i didn't i hadn't even noticed that congratulations to me <laughs> here's some of the reviews look how beautiful it is i love it it's my favorite tutu to make i love it i love it look at all that body on that tutu it's so beautiful I don't mean to show you people's babies. Maybe they wouldn't like that, but yeah. See, that's that one review. And I took that because that's such a nice picture. So yeah. Um they are all outfits. Um I've been selling a lot of this one that is the um too wild with the cheetah print ribbon. And then that cheetah print ribbon, I made it. It's not like actual ribbon. And then this, the cow, the cow one, I've been selling a lot of that. And the unicorn, of course. And this one, I want to um, renew the listing, but I'm going to make the tattoo all over again. And I'm going to use different stuff to try to make it cheaper, more cost efficient, because it's killing me to buy that ribbon. So I'm going to work because I have a lot of these um, two wild shirts. I'm going to do those and do all the shirts. And then I'm going to on one machine. And then on the other machine, I'm going to do the cow ones because I have a lot of cow ones too. And then. Okay, so we got this one going. That's the two wild. Then I got the cow one over here. And then. Um we got we're gonna do the farm one right here i only have one farm one to do but i already have all the colors in here so i'm just gonna do the farm one and then i think i have more cow than to wild so i'm gonna after the farm i'm gonna do the wild ones in there i think i don't know because at some point i have to stop and go cook and then after i cook and get things ready i sometimes don't come don't come back in here so that and then i already have the tool over there for the tutu and then this is the fabric that i use for that tutu which is just fabric and i use it as ribbon it does fray so keep that in mind and yeah put the little paw <clears throat> and I do have links in the description if you want to check out any of my embroidery machines. So these are the EM1010 and then that is the M2 1501, 50 needles, 10 needles. it's a whole different day um i'm still working on orders i've been working pretty steady i have been working like you know steady 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 and then this morning i just got the biggest order that i've ever gotten on etsy and i'm just waiting for them to message me like oh it was an accident um 
you know refund me which i will if they do message me let me show you 10 tutus size 6 but then again it says a personalization black tool with the white ribbon on the back with the white polka dot ribbon with black with white polka dot bow 10 oops i'm shook so i just messaged that um person that ordered 10 tutus of the same one the same size just to make sure it wasn't an accident because that's six hundred dollars but then again who sees that they're about to pay six hundred dollars and still goes ahead and order you know or i don't know kids sometimes grab your phone and they mistakenly or accidentally order stuff online so i just send them an, a message and if i don't hear nothing i'm gonna email them um it has 10 tutus that's a lot um i mean for for one person you know like i don't i don't know if that was an accident so i'll keep you posted if they message me back um I thought I had like all the time in the world to get all these tutus out, but with that big order that came in, I'm thinking I need to hurry my butt up. And oh my god. So orders have to start shipping out Friday. And today's Thursday. Um I have one customer reach out and tell me told me and sent me pictures that the tutu got there damaged which I was like what so I asked her can you send me a picture please she sent me a picture and um there's a huge huge hole um it was a different tutu it wasn't like this one but there's a big huge hole like from here like where the where the ribbon goes sewn to the tool huge like the hole is from here all the way to like over here and then like the the ribbon's like hanging down and i zoomed in in the picture and it was ripped because you can tell how there's still tool on this side like right here show you you can see that this side is still like um sewn to the ribbon and then this right here looks ripped like it was ripped she said it got here like that seriously like you think that i'm gonna ship you something like that and think that it's not gonna go unnoticed why would i ship you something like that i didn't ship it to you ripped it has a huge hole i'm gonna try and insert pictures but why would I send you something like that and think, oh, they're not going to say nothing about this huge ass hole in the tutu. And it's like, just like, uh, just tell me like, oh my God, like I accidentally ripped it or, or I tried it on her and it ripped or, you know, like it's tool. It's pretty fragile. So if you pull hard enough it is gonna rip it's tool you know and i would not mind fixing that for her like i told her ship it back to me i'll fix it and you know no biggie i'm not gonna charge you you know just but why do you tell me that i sent it to you like that why why like i didn't send it to you like that i did not i would never do that like i know obviously someone's gonna say something you know like <laughs> it's just i don't know customers are freaking some the majority of my customers are always super nice and they're always amazing and leave great reviews and i've never i really really almost never like have issues with customers being this way this is the first time that someone tells me i shipped them something damaged which i, I take some offense to that because you're telling me that I purposely sent you something messed up. Why would I do that? What kind of person does that make me, you know? Huh. So I told her, ship it back to me. I'm going to ship you a new one, but I'm not going to ship you a new one until I see that you shipped that one. I can fix the one she ripped or the baby ripped. I don't know, whatever, who cares? 
Um, but I told her to ship me that back. I'm pretty sure I can fix it. Um, and I'll ship her a new one. But um, I don't even know if she's going to get the new one in time because she needs it by the 15th. And today's the 11th. And again, I'm not going to ship it until I see that she shipped the other one. So I am waiting on her reply. I am waiting on the reply for the 10 to 2s. Um, and then these are all the shirts that I've done so far. One, two, three, four, five. I did six actually i have one by the door waiting because i already pick, uh, packaged that up because it's a rush order and these i did yesterday in the morning and then i started cooking and then i stopped once i start cooking and then have to clean the kitchen and all that like i don't i don't come back in here like i've been having to prioritize things a little bit better otherwise i go crazy with um time and i start stressing and i don't want to have headaches and yada yada uh, so here i am I'm making that tutu again this time i remember one time watching um pamela sterling styles uh here on youtube one time say that she would take videos and pictures of the tutus before shipping them out to prove that you know this is the way i shipped it out to you which i don't i don't do that but i'm gonna do that for this one i'm taking a video and i'm taking a picture and i'm gonna video when i ship it and i'm gonna be like i got proof that i sent you a you know well-made tutu so um she still has not shipped the original one and um i don't i don't know um i'm worried that she's not gonna get this one on time because she's taking too long to ship it so well i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do um if she decides to leave me a bad review so be it i'm done of um uh, I'm done with being scared of bad reviews. I don't care. Leave me a bad review. I did my job. And I mean, but hopefully she ships it soon so I could ship this today and she'll get it in time. But it's all it's all in her hands. Here's all the tattoos I made. One more. Still have this one. And then I think one more of these. And then I think I'm done. I did ship out uh, two of these yesterday. And then the one with the customer that I told you guys about. She showed me a receipt that she um, shipped it. So I went ahead and shipped the replacement for that one customer that said that I shipped the ripped one or whatever. Um, so that's on the way. And then, oh, update on that 10 order tutu. It was not a mistake. So um, everything, um, she wants 10 tutus. I, I'm assuming it's for some type of team or a ballet class or I don't know, but um, so that's it for the video. I have to, I'm gonna go ahead and prep, see how much uh, tutus I can get off of these two bolts. I did order some more because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, but um, yeah, that is it. Um, I printed out all my labels. I have to put each label with each outfit and package those up and that's it.